Hey guys, it's Jess. So, I actually made this video yesterday and it was edited and everything, ready to be uploaded to YouTube and then somehow the footage got deleted and I'd already deleted it off my camera and so now I have no footage of it. I only have the first part which I am currently uploading to Facebook, so Facebook, YouTube, so you'll probably have already seen it and this will just be part two, but yeah really annoying so I still have my cough and it's gonna be all like choppy editing like the first one so bad so I have to apologize for that sorry guys so anyway let's get this done because I don't have much time to do it so there's been like a bunch of Twitter campaigns for um, um, actresses that want to play uh, Joanna Mason in Catching Fire and probably the person that started it off is Kristen Bell now, she has been a massive fan of the books for ages, and I have been a massive fan of hers for ages. I was obsessed with Veronica Mars, I still am. Her acting that is brilliant. And then, when that got cancelled, um, she was cast in Heroes, which is another one of my favourite shows, and absolutely loved her in that as well. She always plays the badass character really well, and then that got cancelled. <laughs> I have a thing where every show I watch gets cancelled. It's bizarre. Anyway, that's not the point. Kristen Bell has done like a million movies and her comical timing is great, but she also does the dramatic roles really well. And, you know, if you cut her hair, um, dye it brown, give her some darker contacts, she'd be perfect. She is 32. Um, it's a bit older, I'd say, but we don't even know how old Joanna is. And I think I already said this in my last video, but I pictured her around 22, 23, like a little bit younger than Finnick. So, but, you know, Kristen Bell is still pretty young looking, so she could pass. Another actress that is campaigning for Joanna is Naya Rivera. She's most known for playing Santana on Glee, and I find that... Santana, like the character Santana and Joanna are quite um, similar on the bitchiness level I guess you could say. And Naya's probably the right age, she's 25 so that works and she's playing a high school student still in Glee so that works. She also does the vulnerable parts quite well in Glee and that could definitely work for further on in Mockingjay. Next we have a fan favourite, um, Mila Kunis. I absolutely love Mila Kunis. She is so beautiful, such a brilliant actress. She could pull off um, Joanna in a heartbeat. And she's definitely got the right look about her. She's that little bit older, she's 29, but um, she could definitely pass for younger. Now this one's been thrown out on quite a few fan sites as well, um, Amelia Clark. So you probably know her best from playing Daenerys Targaryen in Game of Thrones, which I'm also a massive fan of. And there's like nothing I'm not a massive fan of, basically. I have a massive collection of TV on DVDs and it's like taking up my whole wall here. It's, it's gigantic. My mum thinks I'm crazy. Anyway, I'd love to see Amelia Clarke as Joanna. She definitely had um, the empowered strong woman down pat on Game of Thrones as Daenerys and um, she has the natural brown hair so she wouldn't be wearing that white wig she wears as Daenerys but she could definitely um, pass and she's 25 as well so she's definitely the right age. Next we have Jenna Malone and the most recent thing I've seen her in would be Sucker Punch and she was amazing in that, very badass, um, she could definitely handle her weapons um, if she was cast as Joanna and she's already got the brown pixie haircut so that works in her favour. She's also 29 so she's that bit older but as I keep saying like everyone plays down, I mean Jen and Josh are playing down as well, like it doesn't really matter as long as they're not like 50. 
Another name that's been thrown out there quite a bit is Rooney Mara. The only thing I've seen her in is the English version of Girl with the Dragon Tattoo and that was an intense movie, intense as all hell. Um, I don't know if you guys will have seen it because I know a lot of you are younger and I probably wouldn't suggest that you watch that movie for some of the scenes in there. It might be a bit too graphic. Um, I would recommend you be 16 or over to watch that movie if you're planning on watching it because, well, unless you've read the book already and know what is going to happen because um, some of the scenes in there are just very graphic. We'll just leave it at that. I won't, I won't extend on that. But based on Rooney's performance as Lisbeth in... Um, girl with the dragon tattoo, she could definitely take on Joanna, no problem. She's like the epitome of badass in that movie and she is a crazy good actress. Next we have Lindsay Fonseca. So she's in Nikita at the moment and that's actually a show I don't watch. I don't watch that one. I'm not a fan of it. Well, I might be. I don't know. Maybe I should watch it. More DVDs to buy. Anyway, so I looked up a few clips of it and she's pretty good. So, um, I think the only real thing I've seen her in was Kick-Ass and when she was on Desperate Housewives. That was ages ago. So yeah, I don't really, um, no, but she, she looks like she could pull it off. She wouldn't be my favourite contender, but she's 25, so she's around the right age group and, you know... We all have different images of what Joanna would look like, so, you know, not everyone will be happy. And finally, this is what I'm going to throw in, and her name popped up once or twice when I was searching through fan sites for who people wanted to play Joanna. Um, she's an Australian, like me, and her name is Phoebe Tonkin. Now, most of you would probably know her from playing Faye in The Secret Circle which was such a good show and they cancelled it. It's not coming back for a second season. I told you everything I watch gets bloody cancelled. I jinxed the shit out of it. Anyway, yes, she's an Australian actress. She's 23, which is like the age I pictured her. And she plays the bitch so well. And Joanna is like the best bitchy character ever written. So it would just be like a perfect fit for me. I feel like she has the right look as well and um, her American accent's really good so that works. There's nothing I hate more than like an actor who doesn't have a good enough accent and it's just like aggravates me for the entire movie and I'm like, <sighs> but yeah, her American accent's pretty good on my scale so you never know. So those are the um, top actresses I found for Joanna Mason. And if you have any other suggestions or want to post your opinion, um, just leave it in the comments below and I will talk to you guys later. <laughs> um, leave your request below. Like I have, I have a lot of requests. So if I don't reply to your request, it's because I've already been requested it. Usually I'll say that, but sometimes that I get like so many comments for a certain person. Um, I don't know, maybe I should make a video on all the requests I have coming up. Um, anyway, that's enough. I gotta go. I'm running out of time. Happy Hunger Games.